Good morning. Uh, yes. Well, it is a very good morning. As the Dean of the College of Engineering, it's my pleasure to welcome you here today as we recognize the College of Engineering's Spring 2015 Baccalaureate class. I'll begin by introducing our platform officials. Uh, when I call your name, please stand. Daniel Reed, Vice President of Research and Economic Development. Sastri Munakutla, Professor Emeritus of Mechanical Engineering at Tennessee Tech University, and this year's inductee into the Distinguished Engineering Alumni Academy. V.C. Patel, Professor Emeritus of Mechanical and Industrial Engineering at the University of Iowa, and this year's inductee into the Legacy of Iowa Engineering. Joseph Reinhardt, Professor and Chair of Biomedical Engineering. Alan Guyman, Professor and Chair of Chemical and Biochemical Engineering. Michelle Scherer, Professor and Chair of Civil and Environmental Engineering. Erway Bai, Professor and Chair of Electrical and Computer Engineering. Andrew Kuziak, Professor and Chair of Mechanical and Industrial Engineering. Jacob Chrome, Student Speaker from Chemical Engineering. Mariah Bankert, Engineering Student Council. Jane Dorman, the Director of Admissions and the First Year Experience. Craig Just, Assistant Professor of Civil and Environmental Engineering. And the Marshal who led the graduates in today is Megan Allen, the Engineering Registrar. Up front, she's sitting up front. All right. Well, thank you. You may be seated. Today we celebrate an important point in the life of our graduates and the beginning of new challenges that will draw upon the knowledge and experiences that they gained as students here at the University of Iowa. Our graduates are well prepared to meet the professional challenges and opportunities that they will encounter as engineers and we take great pride in their accomplishments. As a small token of our appreciation for their hard work and dedication, we've given each graduate a medallion symbolic of their accomplishments, and they're, they're wearing it today over their gowns. But let me name a few of the specific accomplishments of this graduating class. 169 of these graduates completed the requirements for minors, uh, and 101 received credit for co-op and internship experiences. 38 of these students will graduate with distinction. 16 have completed the requirements to graduate with honors. 12 graduates were presidents of engineering student organizations. 10 of the graduates participated in the Engineering Leadership Institute. Nine students will graduate with a double major. Eight served as student ambassadors. Six were peer advisors. Five of the graduates were lead engineering tutors. And one of these graduates completed the requirements to become an Engineering Grand Challenges Scholar. Finally, many of these graduates have been actively involved in student organizations, while others have been involved in academic research. Some graduates have enriched their community through their volunteer efforts. Several have studied abroad, while others have worked to fund their own education. Some are the first in their family to ever receive a college degree. We also take great pride in our students who have served in the armed forces. And I'll invite the veterans in the graduating class to stand, and the veterans in the audience to stand as well to receive our appreciation. So these are very impressive accomplishments of our graduating class, but the accomplishments and academic achievements of the graduates build upon the devotion of talented faculty. And this semester, the graduating seniors from each program selected a faculty member to be recognized today for their excellence in teaching and their dedication to student learning. So faculty, as I call your name, please come to this stage to be recognized. Nicole Grossland, Professor in Biomedical Engineering, was unable to attend today. Charles Stanier, Associate Professor of Chemical and Biochemical Engineering. Yeah. 
Christopher Stokes, lecturer in civil and environmental engineering. Mm -hmm. Anton Kruger, professor in electrical and computer engineering. Thomas Schnell, Associate Professor in Industrial Engineering. Justin Garvin, Lecturer in Mechanical Engineering. So we're very proud of our dedicated faculty that uh, do an amazing job educating our students while they're performing research and creating new knowledge, generating new knowledge in their field and discipline. Um, so let's once again thank all of these outstanding faculty for their dedication. This morning, we are honored to induct our newest member into the legacy of Iowa Engineering, which recognizes faculty, staff, alumni, and friends who have made exceptional contributions toward advancing the College of Engineering's teaching, research, and service missions. Dr. V.C. Patel served as an exemplary researcher, mentor, and academic leader whose impact on the college is profound and inspirational. Educated at the London University and Cambridge University, he joined the faculty at the University of Iowa in 1971 and established himself as an international expert in the area of fluid mechanics. He's co-authored and co-authored four books, more than 200 research papers, and supervised 32 doctoral students in his field. And I know that VC especially rejoices in the achievements of his former students. He served with distinction as the director of two of our world-renowned research centers, IIHR Hydroscience and Engineering and the Center for Computer-Aided Design. And he led each of these centers to new heights of accomplishment. In so many ways, Dr. Patel is the consummate academic diplomat and leader for the College of Engineering to the world. VC, please uh, come up and, and accept uh, induction into the legacy of Iowa Engineering. Next, I'm going to introduce a student speaker. Jake Crome is a chemical engineer with an interest in sustainability and the environment. He was raised in Stockton, Illinois, and graduated from Stockton High School in 2009. During his time at the University of Iowa, Jake has been an active member of the American Institute of Chemical en Engineers and the Chemical Engineering Honor Society, Omega Chi Epsilon. In addition, he has worked for the Engineering Professional Development Program and as a uh, chemical engineering peer advisor. After graduation, Jake will work as a process engineer at the Cedar Rapids facility of DuPont Industrial Biosciences. Uh, it's my pleasure to introduce Jake Crome. Thank you. Before I start, I'd like to remind you all that this is the first thing that I've written in four years that didn't have a grading rubric attached to it, so please don't set high expectations. <laughs> now that my disclaimer's out of the way, I'd like to start by wishing my fellow graduates a very sincere congratulations. We've done it, it's over, breathe a big sigh of relief. It's been a long and difficult road for all of us, and nobody got here without an extreme amount of hard work and involvement. That hard work is what I'd like to focus on today, but not from the academic side. You see, in the past couple years, I've worked in the professional development department here in the College of Engineering, 
and I've met numerous outstanding students with incredible GPAs. But what has impressed me more is the level of involvement I've seen. I've met students taking 20 hours of classes, working two part-time jobs, and yet they still have time to hold leadership positions in multiple organizations. Often this is accompanied by a history of involvement going back through high school. One of the hardest parts of my job is telling students that they need to remove their high school experiences after freshman year just because they're so incredible. Now, to illustrate my point and to make sure that my classmates are all still awake, I'd like all of the graduates who have participated in at least one extracurricular activity to please raise their hand. To all, thank you. <laughs> to all the friends and family member in the audience, what you are looking at is an, an exceptional group of students. These are students that have really taken the initiative and embraced the engineering and something more that is advertised on tours. What you're also looking at, however, is an extremely tired group of individuals. <laughs> and I'm not just talking about the exhaustion that comes from cramming a semester's worth of learning into the night before a final. Uh, I'm also talking about the exhaustion that comes from working all week on classes, homework, papers, exams, and then on the weekends conducting events for their organizations instead of sleeping in. I'm also talking about the mental exhaustion from always having something that they should be doing and having to ignore those thoughts in order to get any kind of a break. Dean Scranton, I'd like to suggest recliners as the seating for next year's graduates. You can thank me later. <laughs> now, I don't mean to complain about the workload or the stress. I've done more than my fair share of complaining over the past few years. Uh, this, our stress does not compare to the stress of raising kids and maintaining a household, although some of the graduates are also doing that. But that is precisely the reason that now is the time for us to focus on community involvement. Most of us are at a point in our lives where we are largely untethered by family and work obligations. And once we wake up from our post-finals hibernation, we should have plenty of energy to participate in any number of organizations. <clears throat> As much as we might like to curl up and focus solely on our jobs and Netflix, and believe me, some of that is in my very near future, uh, I think we have an obligation, both to the community and to ourselves, to get involved and make an impact. For those of us staying in the area, this could mean a continued relationship with the organizations found at Iowa. From Dance Marathon to Continental Crossings to Engineers Without Borders, the, engin the university plays host to innumerable organizations. Don't worry that you're no longer a student. I promise you no, no organization will reject you because you got your diploma. For others, this may mean returning to organizations that we loved as children. Based on the surprisingly high number of Eagle Scouts in the, that I've met at the College of Engineering, I hope that for many this will involve a return to scouting. Regardless of where you end up, be sure to choose something you're passionate about and give it your all. I'm sure whichever cause you choose will be fortunate to have you. It might be my hubris talking, but I strongly believe that every organization will be, can benefit from the addition of more engineers. Now, I've always been told that the key to public speaking is to make your point and then stop talking, so I'll trust you've all gotten my message. Before I go, I'd like to say thank you on behalf of myself and my fellow graduates to the staff and faculty of the College of Engineering, as well as to all the friends and family members for your support. None of us would be here without you, and please know that our success is your success. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Jacob, for those excellent uh, thoughts, excellent remarks on your t uh, regarding your time at Iowa. Mariah Bankert will now come forward to present the Outstanding Graduating Senior Award on behalf of Engineering Student Council. Greetings College of Engineering students, faculty, family, and friends. As President of Engineering Student Council, it is my honor to present this graduating class's Outstanding Senior Award. 
The Outstanding Senior Award is presented to an individual who demonstrates exceptional character, exhibits behaviors of lifelong learning, and is an active, engaged, and well-respected member of the University of Iowa Community <laughs> College of Engineering and community as a whole. The award is chosen based on nominations received from current faculty members and students alike. I would like to read a portion of the nomination before you now. This individual has been actively involved in the engineering community at the University of Iowa as a teaching assistant, acting president of the American Wind Energy Association student chapter, and as an exceptionally engaged environmental engineering student. As a member of Students Today, Leaders Forever, she led a bus tour through several southern U.S. cities and was responsible for organizing a volunteer project in New Orleans, Louisiana. She has acted as a representative of the College of Engineering internationally by studying abroad in Scotland, and as part of the UI Engineers for a Sustainable World, she traveled to Kobridi, Ghana, to help install solar-powered water pumps and test the water to ensure its suitability for drinking. Following this experience, she detailed her efforts in Ghana in a co-authored research paper which was published in the International Journal of Service Learning and Engineering. This individual's hard work and dedication to the College of Engineering is unparalleled. She has spread a positive reputation for the College of Engineering around the world and on the campus of the University of Iowa. She has shared her passion for engineering and provided guidance to others as a teaching assistant, student organization president, but most importantly as a friend. I have no doubt that through her future pursuits, she will continue to make both the Department of Environmental Engineering and the College of Engineering as a whole proud. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to announce that the Outstanding Senior Award for the Class of 2015 goes to Flora Duff. So Flora, congratulations, and that is a cue to come up and receive a isn't it? It is. It is a cue to come up and receive a, a, a plaque. So, yes. As you could tell, that was a surprise. <laughs> okay, next we'll have uh, some groups of students stand to be recognized. You'll stand in place and then uh, be seated when, when I indicate. Um, we'll recognize students for various achievements, beginning with recognizing students in Ta Beta Pi. So with students uh, wearing the white and gold cords signifying membership in Ta Beta Pi, please stand. So Ta Beta Pi is an honor society that was established to recognize engineering students for outstanding scholarship and exemplary character. Let's recognize these students. <laughs> Thank you. Next, we'll recognize our honors graduates. Uh, so I'd like to recognize the students who are receiving honors. So graduates, please stand if you're earning university honors or engineering honors. Quite a group. So university honors is, are earned through a combination of honors coursework and other enrichment activities, such as research, study abroad, and internships, while engineering honors students complete a research thesis under the guidance of a faculty mentor. Um, outstanding. So next we will recognize students graduating with distinction. Um, so if you've graduated with distinction, so have one, two, or three stars on your gown, uh, please stand. And <laughs> distinction is, uh, the designation of distinction is determined from overall grade point average. Three stars designates highest distinction, which is the top 2% of students at the University of Iowa based on GPA. Two stars recognize, uh, signifies high distinction, which is the next 3%, and one star designates distinction, which is the next 5%.
Now we will recognize graduates who have completed the requirements for a technological entrepreneurship certificate, an entrepreneurial management certificate, a global health study certificate, a wind energy certificate, or a sustainability certificate. Would all those students please stand? So these students, in addition to the already very rigorous engineering curriculum, uh, completed a series of courses to provide them greater depth of understanding in one of those specialized areas that complements their engineering curriculum and pairs, prepares them for success in the 21st century. Finally, I'm going to recognize a Grand Challenges Scholar. Uh, there's one, Allison Kendig, would you please stand? Yeah. <laughs> So the Engineering Grand Challenges Scholars Program is especially ex intensive because it involves five different requirements in addition to the engineering uh, curriculum, but it prepares students to tackle key problems that our society will face in the coming century. Uh, to cultivate a new generation of engineers ready to confront these challenges, we developed a comprehensive program of curricular and extracurricular requirements that was certified nationally by the National Academy of Engineering. Uh, we became only the seventh program in the nation to be certified. And each year, nationwide, approximately 40 or 50 Grand Challenge Scholars graduate. Uh, so Allison, congratulations on an outstanding uh, achievement. <clears throat> Next, we are going to honor a University of Iowa alumnus, Dr. Sastri Munakutla for his contribution toward engineering achievement, leadership, and service to society. As an educator, research, researcher, and engineer, Dr. Munakutla's service to the theory and practices of engineering has been extraordinary. His work to develop innovative methods to improve power plant performance has made energy production more efficient and more dependable. After earning his PhD degree from mechanical engineering from the University of Iowa in 1981, Dr. Munakutla served on the faculty of the Department of Mechanical Engineering at Tennessee Tech University from 1986 until his retirement in 2012, and served as director of the university's Center for Energy Systems Research from 2000 to 2010. He's published more than 100 papers in archival journals and has received numerous prestigious awards for his research. He is also a dedicated and gifted teacher and has been selected on via students for outstanding faculty awards for teaching. Um, incidentally, it's an especially special day for VC because Dr. Munakutla uh, was VC student, so he's one of those students that VC takes uh, special uh, re rejoices, especially in his achievements. So I am pleased, first of all, to introduce Dr. Sastri Munakutla, and today we are going to induct him as the newest member of the college's Distinguished Engineering Alumni Academy. Uh, Sastri, please come up. So this morning, uh, Dr. Munakutla will, um, will provide the charge to the graduates. Let me first congratulate the soon-to-be graduates. You need to wait for a few more minutes. Um, I'm honored and at the same time humbled to be inducted into the DEAA. After receiving a master's in aeronautical engineering in India and working for 15 years, I chose to come to the Institute of Hydraulic Research in Iowa University for my PhD. Working full time as a graduate student at that late stage was not easy. However, with a laser focus, I finished my work in three years and 13 days, and I consider this as the most significant and bold step that I took in my professional life. 
So here is a two-part charge to the graduates. If you have a desire to obtain a PhD, do it immediately and make the University of Iowa as your top choice. It's one of the best in the country. I need an applause for that. <laughs> Thank you. Before I give my further charge to the students, I need to say something about my PhD advisor, Professor Patel, who is also being honored today, who has been honored today. His professional accomplishments are well known, and I will not repeat anything. However, I will share a personal experience of mine. After finishing my PhD in 1981, and before joining as a tenure-track associate professor of mechanical engineering at Tennessee Tech University in 1986, I wanted to explore employment opportunity at NASA in Cleveland while attending a conference there. I had no previous appointment to meet with the head of the fluids division. However, I went along with a friend of mine working there to meet him. He was getting ready to go to the airport and told me that he could spare about five minutes. The first question he asked me was, who is your PhD advisor? Upon hearing Dr. Patel's name, he immediately called his secretary and the assistant division head to his office. The secretary was instructed to hold off the taxi for 15 minutes, and the assistant director was asked to arrange a formal invitation to me to present a seminar in the following weeks. This is an example of Professor Patel standing in the professional community in the country. Need I say anything more? And here is my charge to you. Be smart in choosing your PhD advisor, and am I glad that I chose Professor Patel. <laughs> Thank you. As you know, engineering ethics is taught in some form or another for engineers. At Tennessee Tech University, where I served, there was a one-hour seminar class for seniors. I noticed that most of the time, the topics drifted more towards legal issues. In fact, one senior faculty member used to invite a local attorney to participate in each and every class. I would like to draw a distinction between ethics and legal issues. In my opinion, there is no difference between personal ethics and professional ethics. Please refer to the dictionary to find that the word ethics relates to moral behavior. It speaks of the distinction between right and wrong. On a legal basis, you can get away with something, but that might not be ethical. So my charge to you is that whatever ethical standards you are expected to uphold in your personal life, please uphold the same in your professional life. The next charge relates to how to handle extreme adversity in your professional life. I need to quote a personal experience of mine. After a contentious selection process, I was appointed as the director of the Center for Energy Systems Research at Tennessee Tech in 2000. Within a few months, there was a major fire damage to my office complex. This was the only serious fire accident in the university history. It took eight months to complete the restoration process. In cooperation with my staff, I moved the complete operation to my fluids lab. My PhD student finished his work a few months earlier, and there was no disruption to any research activity. I started aggressive marketing with power companies, and lo and behold, we generated the largest external funding in the last 16-year history of the center. I never went even once to the upper administration for any external extra financial help. The charge to you now is that if you face extreme adversity, look seriously at what you can do to handle the situation. It's also very important for you to be collegial with everyone so that in situations like this, everyone will pitch in. Finally, 
I want to talk about globalization in our professional life. I have been to Japan, Korea and China several times on professional work starting in the late 80s. At that time, there were very few Americans in the flights. Things have changed. In the most recent trip to China in January this year, the flight was almost full of Americans. In whatever city I went, I came across many Americans in the hotels. Most of them were there in connection with business. A few years ago, I landed in Tokyo Narita Airport and came out of the terminal to catch a bus to downtown. I heard someone saying, hello, Dr. Munukutla. I turned around to find that the two who accosted me took my gas dynamics class in the last semester. They were hired by Nissan and immediately sent to Japan. The main problems with working in the Oriental countries are understanding their culture and managing the language problem. If you are not very open-minded and patient, you can get frustrated and that could affect your job performance. My charge to you is that if you get the opportunity to work in another country, take it as a positive, prepare for that assignment by talking to others who have done this before and meet with people from those countries if possible before you go there. And I can assure you, this will be a wonderful part of your professional career. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sastri, for those outstanding and very uh, wise words. Next, we will confer the degrees. Daniel Reed, University of Iowa Vice President of Research and Economic Development, will confer the, de the Bachelor of Science in Engineering degrees on our graduating students. So will the candidates for the degree Bachelor of Science in Engineering please rise? <laughs> Vice President Reed, these candidates, having completed all of the requirements for the degree Bachelor of Science in Engineering, are recommended to you by the faculty of the College of Engineering for the conferring of this degree. On the recommendation of the faculty of the College of Engineering, and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents, State of Iowa. I confer on each of you the degree Bachelor of Science in Engineering as qualified and designated. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, graduates, you may now be seated. And we will next individually recognize the recipients of the Engineering Baccalaureate degrees. Vice President Reed will join me in offering our congratulations to each graduate and feel free to applaud when your graduate is recognized. Jane Dorman will introduce each degree candidate individually. Uh, Jane is the College of Engineering's Director of Admissions and First Year Experience. Uh, she met most of these students when they joined the college and has mentored many of them through the years. So it's particularly fitting that she introduced them as they received their degrees here today. Will the candidates for degrees in biomedical engineering please rise and assemble on this side of the platform. Department Executive Officer Joseph Reinhardt will represent the Biomedical Engineering Program.
Congratulations. Andrew Amendola with a minor in physical activity and nutrition. Congratulations, Ricky. Richard Bonner. Congratulations. Samuel Bilo with a minor in Spanish. Noe Bernabe. Congratulations. Oops. Grant Batulius with a minor in business administration. Congratulations. Oops. I'm not having good luck with this today. <laughs> Alex Brown with engineering honors. Congratulations. Nick Berghart. Congratulations. Blake Carson. Congratulations. Krista Civitoni. Congratulations. Mary Grace Dane with a minor in psychology. Angela Danny with a minor in business administration. Congratulations. Elliot DeBleck. Congratulations. Patrick Deck. Congratulations. Andre DeGroat with a distinction university honors and a minor in chemistry. Matt Egenhaus with Engineering Honors and University Honors. Miriam Yasser Mohammed Shauki El Hatab with the minor in Spanish. Jordan Flaherty. Kyle Frank with a certificate in technological entrepreneurship and a minor in business administration. Congratulations. Julia Grover. Congratulations. Christopher Heck. Congratulations. Abigail Higgins. Siobhan Higgins with a minor in business administration. Congratulations. Emily Huber with a minor in military science. Congratulations. Gabriel Jardim. Congratulations. Alexander Jessen. Congratulations. And you can contact me. Justin John with a minor in psychology. Congratulations. Kayla Jones. Congratulations. You like that? I do. Keegan Kavanaugh with distinction. Congratulations. Cassandra Kennedy. Mitchell Kent. Congratulations. Stephen J. Kinney with a minor in communication studies. Congratulations. Harlan John Michael Cloak. Congratulations. Connor Kriz with University Honors. Congratulations. Kyle Krobe. Congratulations. Brianna Kruger. Congratulations. Lydia Kuhn. Congratulations. Remus Lapinus. Congratulations, Jess. 
Jessica Litchfield. <laughs> Congratulations. Alvin Long. Congratulations. Coleman McCarthy. Ryan, congratulations. Ryan McLaughlin with Engineering Honors and University Honors. Kaylee Meetinger. Elizabeth Mensing with a minor in human physiology. Michael Meza with a minor in business administration. John Michael. Congratulations. Julia Orr. Emerson Pierce, with a minor in chemistry. Ashley Peterson. Congratulations. Lucas Andrew Rebeck, with a minor in chemistry. Cody Rauner. Danielle Sanchez Fernandez. Congratulations. Joshua Sherm with a minor in chemistry. Congratulations. Zachary Cycle. Congratulations. Kevin James Simmons with engineering honors. Benjamin Steger. Congratulations. Patrick Stone. Congratulations. Madeline Tierney. Congratulations. Jocelyn Todd with highest distinction, engineering honors, university honors, and a minor in German. Saravia Underdi, with high distinction in minors in music and Spanish. Congratulations. Joanna Utoff. Congratulations. Daniel Veit. Congratulations. Michelle K. Vrunios. Congratulations. John Wagner. Christopher Winters with Engineering Honors and University Honors. Congratulations. Zachary Winters. Congratulations. Jane Wolf. Shelby. <laughs> Shelby Wood with the minor in Spanish. Cheng Hao Zhou with distinction. And now we will have the graduates from the Chemical and Biochemical Engineering Program. De department Executive Officer Alan Guyman will represent the department. Michael Anderson with a minor in chemistry. Ian Armstrong. <laughs> Ian Armstrong with university honors, a minor in Spanish and a minor in chemistry. Riley Brunson with distinction and a minor in chemistry. Sean Conway with minors in mathematics, chemistry, and business administration. Oh, okay. 
expecting that. Jacob Chrome. Katie DeHoot with minors in chemistry and business administration. Congratulations. Spencer Filzen with a minor in chemistry. Sean Fitzgerald with high distinction and a minor in chemistry. Austin Hangartner with distinction, engineering honors, university honors, minors in chemistry, and minor in business administration. Patrick Johnson with minors in Spanish and chemistry. Eric Martin. Natalie Northup with a minor in chemistry. Brandon Pham. Anna Raywertz. Connor Redmond with a minor in chemistry. Alejandro Rios with a certificate in technological entrepreneurship and a minor in chemistry. Congratulations. Michael Stotzer with a minor in chemistry. Congratulations. Catherine Sahanik. Congratulations. Jake Taylor with minors in business administration and chemistry. Congratulations. Justin Walling with minors in business administration and chemistry. Congratulations. Yumu Yang with a minor in chemistry. Congratulations. Danny Yoshis with a minor in chemistry. Brett Zeller with a minor in chemistry. Now we will have the graduates from the Civil and Environmental Engineering Program. Department Executive Officer Michelle Scherer will represent the department. Benjamin Aidy. Kelsey Anderson. Congratulations. Alex Bramhall. Congratulations. Jason Cardenas. Congratulations, Laura. Flora Duff with distinction. Congratulations. Kevin Garoni. Matthew Gadziak. Brandon Gillentine. Caleb Gingrich. Jacqueline Gutman with a certificate in sustainability. Sarah Gutowski with a minor in art. Adrian Guzman, with a minor in business administration. Nick Herkert, with distinction, engineering honors, and a certificate in sustainability. Congratulations. Christopher Huss. Brian Ivanuk. Thank you. Michael James. Congratulations. 
Haley Gindrich with a cer Certificate in Sustainability. Parker Just. <laughs> Sam Casina. Brock Camera with distinction. John Kintz with distinction. Christina Kolojajic. Brian Cruz with highest distinction. Daniel Lesniewski. Jack Mahalik. <laughs> Eric Scott Mortensen with a minor in Spanish. James Nowak. Jacob O'Connor. Megan O'Connor. Matthew Poshias. Nick Reuter. Ben Ryan with a certificate in sustainability. <laughs> Sarah Solomon with a certificate in sustainability. Christopher Shares. Matthew Schindel. China Sims. Adrian Simonson. Scott Stalo. Nate Stevenson. Anton Stork. Congratulations. Silas Tappendorf. Congratulations. Adam Tarleton with a minor in military science. Congratulations. Stephanie Thane. Yeah, yeah. Ray Tokohisa with a minor in geoscience. Hengwei Sai. Evan Walsh. Aaron Webster. Logan Wyant. Scott Whiting. Brandon Willis. Congratulations. Alex Zeppereri with the minor in art. Casey Zwolinski. Oh. And now we will have the students who are graduating with a degree in electrical and computer engineering. Department Executive Officer Irwe Bai is representing that department. Okay. I'm ready for you. Congratulations. 
Austin Abolt with the minor in mathematics. Congratulations. David Acre with minors in computer science and mathematics. Congratulations. Steve Amancha with minors in computer science and mathematics. Sean Amin, with a Certificate in Technological Entrepreneurship, Minors in Mathematics and Computer Science. Brayden Andros, with Minors in Computer Science and Mathematics. Tony Breeze, with Highest Distinction, Minors in Computer Science and Mathematics. Miles Brew. Adam Bucknaw with minors in mathematics and computer science. Brady Carey with minors in computer science and mathematics. Jacob Christensen. Kyle Clark with a minor in computer science and a minor in mathematics. Kevin Crouch with a minor in mathematics. Luke Dettert with a certificate in sustainability. Joseph Duemeyer. Tyler Dunkel with highest distinction, a minor in computer science. Jacob Dye with minors in computer science and mathematics. Congratulations. Christopher Edwards. Congratulations. Nicholas Eliason with distinction, a certificate in technological entrepreneurship and a minor in mathematics. Emma Fickle with minors in computer science and mathematics. Madeline Fickle with minors in computer science and mathematics. <laughs> Shea Finkelstein with minors in psychology and mathematics. Alexander Fishman with distinction, minors in computer science and mathematics. Laura Graber. Chow Gang, with a second major in mathematics. Michael George, with a minor in mathematics. Bryn Gitt with high distinction, university honors, minors in computer science and mathematics. Congratulations. James Garaspi. Congratulations. Amanda Green with a minor in mathematics. David Harshman with highest distinction and a minor in computer science. Congratulations. Gabriel Hart. Congratulations. Bridget Johnson with university honors, minors in computer science and mathematics. Elliot Katz with a minor in mathematics. Congratulations. Prajwal Ketalaya. Congratulations. Rebecca Kale with a minor in mathematics. Congratulations. Alyssa Kelly with a minor in mathematics. Congratulations. Hanwul Kim with a minor in mathematics. 
congratulations. Ron Kistinger with minors in computer science and mathematics. Congratulations. Thanks. Kevin Mark Klosterman with a minor in mathematics. Parker Cook with a second major in mathematics. Congratulations. Christopher Koscielli with minors in Spanish, computer science, and mathematics. Christopher Koski with minors in mathematics and computer science. Congratulations. Brandon Lydick. Alexander Lenth with a minor in mathematics. Congratulations. Patrick Maloney with a minor in mathematics. Congratulations. Nick Martinson. Congratulations. Alexander McClure with a minor in computer science. Ryan McCollum with minors in computer science and mathematics. Congratulations. David McDermott with a minor in computer science. Congratulations. Nikolai Mondragon. Congratulations. Julie Mustaine with high distinction. University Honors, Minors in Economics, Computer Science, and Mathematics. Congratulations. Thomas Myers with High Distinction. Congratulations. Thomas Pothoff. Congratulations. Matthew Pick with minors in business administration and computer science. Congratulations. Aaron Richmond with a minor in mathematics. Congratulations. Kenneth Real. Congratulations. Brandon Schaltis with a minor in mathematics. Brian Christopher Senchuk with high distinction. Congratulations. Adam Snyder with minors in computer science and mathematics. Yes, you did. Congrats. Chad Stapes with a minor in mathematics. Congratulations. Luke Steenson with minors in mathematics and computer science. Hanbin Tao with a second major in mathematics with distinction with engineering honors and university honors. Congratulations. Catherine Temple with engineering honors and a minor in Spanish. Oh, congratulations. Lindsay Catherine Trotter with minors in mathematics and computer science. Henry Livingston Robleski with minors in mathematics, computer science, and physics. Congratulations. William Sia with highest distinction, minors in mathematics, computer science, and music. Congratulations. Zhang Zhang with a minor in mathematics. Dominic Zuko. Congratulations. Mario Zuko. Now we will have the graduates with a degree in industrial engineering. Department Executive Officer Andrew Kuziak will represent the mechanical and industrial engineering programs.
Neil Armstrong. Rocio Ayala with a minor in psychology. Taylor Jonas Best with a minor in business administration. Garrett Brown. Justin Cook. John Derry with the minor in business administration. Congratulations. Thank you. Samantha Gordon with certificates in sustainability and a minor in mathematics. Congratulations. Weiwei Gu with university honors and a minor in mathematics and a minor in statistics. Congratulations. Zach. Henningsen with high distinction, minors in mathematics, and business administration. Congratulations. Mackenzie Hodges. Congratulations. Anthony Johnson with a minor in business administration. Congratulations. Alex Kawap with a minor in business administration. Out, right. <laughs> Allison Kindig with highest distinction, engineering honors, university honors, certificates in global health studies, a minor in business administration, and she was our homecoming queen. <laughs> John Lewis with a minor in business administration. Nicholas Mazinga with a minor in business administration. Congratulations. Brian Matthew McClurg with distinction. Congratulations. Zachary Nolte with a minor in psychology. Congratulations. Ryan Oaks with a minor in business administration. Jesse Poznikowicz. Thank you. Courtney Paulson with a second major in dance with university honors and a minor in business administration. Congratulations. Joseph Petromali. Congratulations. Frank Ross with a minor in business administration. Connor Scanlon with a minor in computer science. Congratulations. Patrick Stanton with a minor in business administration. Congratulations. Lauren Taylor. Congratulations. Kayleen Williams. Jeremy Zakrakalis. John Zanussi with a certificate in technological entrepreneurship. And now we will honor the mechanical engineering graduates. Professor Kuziak will still be shaking hands. John Adair. Congratulations. Lucas Archer. Congratulations. Jacob Balweg with minors in business administration and mathematics. Congratulations. David Bine with a minor in mathematics. Ryan Benish. Congratulations. 
Michael Badalari. Congratulations. Stephen Buckstein with a certif certificate in sustainability and a minor in mathematics. Congratulations. Kevin Brawley with a minor in business administration. Neil Bunt with certificate in wind energy and a minor in mathematics. Kip Caputo with a minor in mathematics. Shung Kong Chen with high distinction and a minor in mathematics. Yixin Chen. Andrew Christ with certificates in wind energy and a minor in mathematics. Ryan Christensen with a minor in business administration. Stevenson Edward Chahosky. Joseph Dempsey with a minor in mathematics. Alexander Denny with minors in business administration and mathematics. Congratulations. Logan Derby with certificate in wind energy and a minor in mathematics. Congratulations. Edward Dunkel with a minor in mathematics. Anthony Engelbart with minors in mathematics and business administration. Joseph Field. Brendan Pfeiffer with a minor in business administration. Sean Fleming with a minor in business administration and a minor in mathematics. Jack Forrest with a minor in mathematics and business administration. Congratulations. Jason Fox with a minor in mathematics. Congratulations. Cameron Frossard with a minor in mathematics. Congratulations. Peter Gabrick with a minor in mathematics. Eduardo Galvin. Jayun Gao with distinction, engineering honors, university honors, and a minor in mathematics. Congratulations. Nick Gerwi with highest distinction. Congratulations. David Goldman with a minor in mathematics. Eric Gould. Brandon Griffin with a minor in mathematics. Cody Hardy with a minor in mathematics. Congratulations. Corey Harthorn. Dustin Heddens. <laughs> Congratulations. Alex Hang with a minor in mathematics. Congratulations. Theodore Hill. Congratulations. Shun Huang with a minor in mathematics. Eric S. Iverson. Congratulations. Matthew Janicek with high distinction and a minor in mathematics. Congratulations. 
Robert Johnson with a minor in mathematics. Samantha Kirkov with minors in business administration and mathematics. Douglas Kerr with a certificate in technological entrepreneurship and a minor in mathematics. Jacob Kittner with a minor in mathematics. Chung Hui Li with a second major in mathematics. Elliot Lincoln. Trevor Law. Zach Lyle. Alex Matos with a minor in mathematics. Congratulations. Michael McAndrews with a certificate in technological entrepreneurship. Congratulations. Sean McBrien with a minor in mathematics. Congratulations. JD McCullough with highest distinction. Congratulations. Jacob Miles. Congratulations. Hi, aren't you so proud of him? Aaron Mueller with minors in economics and mathematics. Congratulations. <laughs> Andrea Miles. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Derek. Nelson with a minor in mathematics. Congratulations. Tyler Nemers with a second major in dance and a minor in mathematics. Congratulations. Thank you. It's the dream. I know. Michael Patrone with minors in aerospace studies and mathematics. Congratulations. Jeffrey Peters. Brian Peterson with distinction and a minor in mathematics. Congratulations. Yes. Tyler Peary. Congratulations. Matthew Ponarelli with a minor in mathematics. Congratulations. Jordan Rickenberg. Aaron Robnett with a minor in mathematics. Congratulations. Connor Shanklin with a minor in mathematics. Congratulations. Abhinav Sharma with highest distinction and a minor in mathematics. Congratulations. Michael Smith with a minor in business administration. Brendan Smolin with a minor in mathematics and in French. Congratulations. Samuel Song with a minor in mathematics. Congratulations. Kyle Speketer with a minor in mathematics. Congratulations. Thomas Speakerman. Benjamin Stelter, with a minor in business administration and a minor in mathematics. Congratulations. Mark Stocker, with a minor in mathematics. Congratulations. Charles Suhaida. Congratulations. Megan Travis. Kenneth Virick with a minor in mathematics. 
Brandon Vogel. Jeffrey Von Arb with a minor in mathematics. Brennan Weirs with a minor in mathematics. Cody Weeding. Sam Walu with a minor in mathematics. Daniel Wenzelman with a minor in mathematics. Congratulations. Michael Werner with a minor in mathematics. Adam Westbrook with a certificate in technological entrepreneurship and a minor in mathematics. Tim Wichert. Congratulations. Michael Wright with a minor in mathematics. Congratulations. Thomas Yeager. Congratulations. Chung Jung with engineering honors and a minor in mathematics. Tracy Zerker with a minor in mathematics. Please join me in congratulating everyone for their hard work and accomplishments. Please join me. Oh, I already said that, didn't I? Okay, we're all still happy, yeah. It seems like just a minute or two ago that I met all of you as you began this adventure that we call Engineering at Iowa. I know I speak for others in the college when I say that we have immensely enjoyed the opportunity to spend these years with this wonderful group of people. I wish you all the best. Please keep in touch with us. All right, we give you lots of opportunities to celebrate, and here's going to be another one, because graduates, we have one last assignment for you. Please turn your tassels from the left side to the left side of your caps so that you're officially alumni of the University of Iowa College of Engineering. Finally, I want to say that as engineers, you are equipped to make essential contributions to this nation and to the world. You have a responsibility to bring your talents, understanding, and expertise to bear on the problems facing the world. I hope you will be guided by the highest of ethical standards with great respect for the environment and a genuine commitment to human values. We wish you the greatest success in your career, and as Jane said, please keep in touch. And I'm going to thank everyone in the audience for being here today and ask you to please remain seated until all of the platform officials and all of the graduates have left the auditorium. <laughs>